de put disha one meaning of disha is debilitation another meaning of because upadas are not really debilitated right the second house from upada is not debilitated so nicha amse could mean nicha also means that so it could mean a bad amse basically amse of a bad, bad planet and nicha khate ke also a lowly planet nicha can be lowly so lowly planet is occupying it like the top of the earth so it is in an amsha containing not the bad planet evil planets or if it is accompanied by a major planet then or conjoined by a natural melfic planet jatako daraha bhave then the person will kill the wife it could other and more plausible interpretation is ki hasko basically has a problem to the wife so that has to be the wife and that so that could be expressed as the becomes a killer of wife in a passive way not not in an active way now earlier he was using the word shubha papa now he is jumping to krura so the bottom line is if upada are the second house from them are reflected either by natural malefic or functional malefic is basically bad so upada and the second house should be blessed by good planet so if if the planet is only natural malefic or only functional malefic the average but if it's a functional malefic who also happen things are quite bad स्वच्छाम से स्वच्छ संस्थे वुंग but if there is no food you won't live first your body but if there is no food there is no body very soon body will decay it will die basically so second house is also important first house and second house are always very important house for that matter so earlier our thumb rule was to look at the second lord always now looking at this it's not necessarily the second lord see the second house which i'm saying it is in who is associating with it in the navamsha and who is aspecting it in the rashi chart who is in that sign you have to look at all the factors and if you see all those there may be some who is the cure or who is a problem there may be a natural malefic conflict malefic occupying it or aspecting it in which case you want to coexist that planet or there may be a strong benefit a functional and natural benefit in that house or occupying that house or owning that house In which case you may want to propitiate him so that he may be happy. You can either propitiate the bad guy who is trying to ruin it or good guy. Who is trying to ruin it. But you could basically judge all the factors and you could pick, pick a planet. It doesn't have to be the thumb rule of always taking the second lot, right? Swocham se swocha samtheva tunga drishtiva cha atta bhavan kara rupa lakshana samvika swocham se. is the second from the upada is in swoch swochan se swoch sansheva tunga drushti vasat tatha bhavanti bho bhava okay so if a planet associated with the second house from upada is in swa uchyamsha is in own exaltation sign if the planet is exalted in navamsha a planet associated with the second house from upada swoch sansheva or not necessarily in, uh, exalted in the navamsha but also exalted in the एक्साल्टेड इन राशि या नवाम से तुंग दृष्टि वचा तथा प्लैनेट इज एक्साल्टेड इन एस्पेक्ट सो इफ द लार्ड ऑफ द हाउस और ए प्लैनेट देर इज इधर एक्साल्टेड इन राशि या नवाम से और एस्पेक्टिंग फ्रॉम एन एक्साल्टेशन साइन एन एक्साल्टेड प्लैनेट इज एस्पेक्टिंग दट उपाधा सेकंड हाउस रूम उपाधा देन बहोदारा रूप लक्षण संयुक्त लाट ऑफ स्पाउजेस 
there will be several spouses rupa lakshana sandidaha who are beautiful and who have who have good looks and also good quality basically bottom line is very lucky in today's time having several spouses who are good looking and having good qualities is not really it does not mean much it actually means you have a loose character because it's, it's illegal if you are doing it it means you have a problem but in old days when it was perfectly fine for a person to marry multiple persons not necessarily have a single spouse in those days having several spouses who are who are good looking as well as having good qualities good character means you are lucky basically this is another way of saying the person is lucky with respect to marital bliss the next one uparudhe dvitiye va mithune samsthite sati तत्र जात नो विप्र बहुदार युत भवे उपारूढ़े द्वितीय इफ द उपद आर्ट द सेकंड हाउस फ्रॉम देर मिथुने संस्थित सती इज प्लेस इन मिथुना मिथुना मीन जमीना इफ इधर उपाद आर्ट द सेकंड फ्रॉम देर इज इन जमीना जमीनी तत्र जात नो विप्र ए पर्सन बॉर्न लाइक दट ओ ब्राह्मीन बहुदार युत भवे सी गेट मल्टीपुल वाइफ वाय In general, mithuna. Mithuna means couple. Mithuna is a and also is a sign of mercury. Mercury shows multitude. Mercury shows many. So, uh, mithuna basically has a has a connotation of multiple people. Even in the case of children, we used to say that if mithuna is showing a particular child, there may be twins or triplets, etc. So similarly, if it is a sign of mercury, particularly Gemini, it can show multiple child, multiple wives. Or multiple husbands. Uparudhe dvitiye pi swaspa migraha samjute swarchage tatpatauva pi yatra kutra pi bhusura. Uparudhe dvitiye pi. In the upada or in the second house from there, swaswami graha samjute. Swaswami graha samjute. One lord is there. That means the lord of the sign is occupying the sign. Either the first or second house of the upada. Swakshage, or he is in one sign, not necessarily in that sign, but in another own sign. For example, Libra could be the upada, and Venus could be in Taurus. Okay, Swakshage, that's what I'm talking about. Or the Lord is in own house. Yatra kutra bhi hujra. Wherever this happens, who Brahmin, who God of Earth, that means Brahmin. Yasya janmani yogo yam sanaro. This is what I'm saying. Yasya janmani yogo yam. In whoever bhajchad this yoga occurs, then a rose is satma. That person, who Brahmin, who great Brahmin, uttara ayushin nidharo bhavat yeva nasam seha. Uttara ayushin nidharo. Later in life, he becomes nidharo. He becomes wifeless. Bhavat yeva nasam seha. There is no doubt in it. So if the so the rule is. Uparudhe in the in the in the first or second house from Upada, the lord of the house is right there, and he is in or he is in one sign. Then later in life there will be no spouse. Why? Why? Okay, so your take is that he is actually, even though he is saying later in life there is no wife, he is meaning until very late in life, person will be happy with wife. So she, right. So she is putting a positive spin on it and saying that Uttarayish Nidharo Bhavati, as saying, he gets into problem only in an old age, in the young age basically, in the prime of the life. The person is blessed with respect to wife. Okay. Do you have any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? Is any other way to interpret it? Is there anything negative about that combination? Yes. He is saying in general. Right. So the thing is, what he is trying to say, in my opinion, is. This is a very generic combination. Lord being in that sign or in another own sign. That's a good thing actually. So he is saying uttarayish jiddaro. So what I reckon is, 
basically this is a good combination from what he said he himself said earlier so he is saying even in that case there is a possibility of losing wife later in life provided that planet is a bad planet if the planet is not a good planet for example let's say he is a friend enemy of 7th house and 7th lord and he is a functionary fake and all that if such a thing happens then basically he is saying that even though the planet is strong he may lose wife but he will spare by making it happen late in life hello ah namaskar manish i am in the middle of astrology class i'll talk to you tomorrow okay namaskar namaskar ha ah, so so what i reckon is he is basically saying that even a strong lord of the upada of the second house from there can give a loss of wife if he is ill disposed if he is basically if he is a male fixed planet so just because upada at the second from there has the lord right there don't jump to the conclusions that things are fine still there may be problems but because the lord is so strong he will save it as long as he, he can if he is afflicted by another planet a male fake or he himself is a male fake then there can be problems Okay. On the other hand, if the planet is a benefic, there are no afflictions, etc., then you can say that uh, the person may not become spouseless even in old age. The person may continue to have wife or spouse. Uh, let's keep going with Parashara. Let's do a few more verses. For me? Which prediction? but he is restating a different aspect of it he, the aspect he is stating now is with this good combination of the lord being there the person loses wife perhaps late in the life but nevertheless loses wife so he is basically saying that the, even that is possible swaraso sansthite swaraso sansthite pyevam nitya khedara karake उत्तरायुष निर्धारो संशय नो ही स्टाक अबाउट द सेम थिंग सेम स्पिन मोर कॉम्बिनेशन स्वराशो स्वराशो मींस इफ ऑक्युपाइंग द ओन हाउस ऑक्युपाइंग एन ओन साइन नित्याख्ये दारकारके मींस दारकारका मींस dark dark significant of spouse nityakhe means permanent one so nityakhe dark dark means if the permanent dark dark means not char dark dark not the char dark but shukra the permanent naya naisargika dark dark swarasho sansade pyevam nityakhe dark dark ke uttarais nirdaro bhavat jeevan samshaya so even if the lord of the seven uh, the karaka of the seventh house venus he is placed in moon sign still he can become wifeless in old age uparodha pati swoche sthira stri karako thava sukula dar labhasya niche sthetu par yayat uparodha pati swoche means the lord of the upada is in own exaltation sign sthira stri karako thava or जुपिटर and this is in the case of men even though he is saying sri karaka let's not assume that he is saying sri karaka this means opposite sex karaka this is not so basically venus or jupiter otherwise he can just say venus he is specifically using the words sthira sri karaka so if jupiter or venus depending on who start you are seeing by the way in the previous verse now going back nitya khe nitya means the permanent one is it sthira or naisargika we are not sure and 
previous words he said if the nitya dargaka is in own sign then also spouse can be lost in old age right first of all if it is naisargika dargaka he would have, he could have just said venus instead of saying nitya khe dargaka right that is one thing second thing is nitya means permanent actually and naisargika could also mean that but thira means fixed so that could actually that that gels well gels better with the word nitya moreover we are talking about death of the spouse so nice compared to naisargika dargaka thira dargaka may be more appropriate so my take is that in, even in the previous word we are talking about thirakarga spouse so either jupiter or venus that is why he didn't specifically say the name of the planet anyway now this was ardha to upada is an exaltation sign or venus or jupiter the thirakarga of spouse is also an exaltation sign then what sukula dar labhasya niche sthedu varjaya शुकुला दारला भस्यात मीन्स शुकुला दारला भस्यात व्हाट इज इट मीन ही विल गेन वाइफ फ्रॉम ए सुकुला ए गुड फैमिली वाइफ विल कम फ्रॉम ए गुड फैमिली नीच स्थे तो विभर जाया इफ द प्लैनेट इज डेबिलिटेटेड इट इज फ्रॉम ए बैड बैड फैमिली नॉट नॉट ए रेस्पेक्टेड फैमिली सो रेस्पेक्टेड फैमिली एंड आर्डेंटी फैमिली उपारूढ़े द्वितीय शुभ संबंध तो द्विज उपारूढ़े द्वितीय उपदा द सेकंड हाउस शुभ संबंध तो द्विज हेव ए लिंक विद ए फंक्शनल बेनिफिट जात सुंदरी भार्य भव्या रूप गुणान्विता द नेटिव वाइफ विल बी सुंदरी ब्यूटिफुल भव्या रूप गुणान्विता भव्या मीन शी इज वेल डिस्पोज शी इज लक्की and rupa gunanvita means rupa looks guna character anvita endowed with so endowed with good looks and good nature <coughs> when if the second from upada is has a benefic benefic sambandha benefic relation of course if the benefic who have who is linked with the second from upada is weak and there are other maleific influences which are stronger this may not come to what is the main lesson here yeah the upada and the second house basically will show you what kind of spouse comes where where the spouse comes from okay because upada is the is the actual image and second is what what fits it so those two houses are important houses to see what kind of spouse one has the next verse उपारूढ़ा द्वितीय चरिराहु स्थित यदि अपवादास्त्रियो नाशो वाचाते द्विज उपारूढ़ा द्वितीय इन द सेकंड फ्रॉम उपदा चरिराहु स्थित यदि सैटर्न एंड राहु आर प्लेस्ड अपवादा मीन्स अपवादास्त्रियो नाशो वाचाते ब्लेमिंग अपवादा मीन्स ड्यू टू ए ब्लेम due to an unfair blame blaming kriya chago kriya means foul chaga means losing so he gives up wife because of a scandal or nasha or wife dies so basically this is a bad combination why saturn and rahu why are they giving that rahu is the planet of rahu is the planet of scandal bad bad reputation so if the second from upada contains seni and rahu saturn and rahu then the the loss of this marriage will happen because of a scandal in unfortunate circumstances that's the bottom line yes they will say you will if you look at lot of examples you will find examples where saturn and rahu may be in a second from upada but the person is fine that is possible but this is a possibility this is a strong possibility You see, male kids in the second form of father, you should be careful. Okay, we will learn for today. Sixteen verses. Remember, we did sixteen. How many more are there? So we will pick up from here in the next class.
give me the data of the first charge health related october uh, 28 october 28th 1936 1936 oops 1936 yeah By 30 a.m. Masjid Batnam, my our town. Somebody from my town. Okay. How should I say it? Shastri Garu. I am saving it as Shafi Garu, that is how Vitnara calls him. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that... Okay. The, the birth data again is for recording 1936, October 28, 5.30am in a standard time, 5, 5 hours 30 minutes east of GMT. The place is Majripatnam, India, 81 degrees 8 minutes east, 16 degrees 10 minutes north. Okay. So the question is relative to health? Yes. And the accuracy is plus minus 5 minutes apparently. Okay. So we don't know for sure that the time is accurate. And Lagna seems to be on the border, but 5 minutes it should be fine. 30 minutes and 1 hour 55 minutes. Okay, good. So. Okay, he, there are some events. Give me the events. October 21, 1961. 61. Marriage. Okay. Retired as a medical rep. Retired as a medical rep. When? Oh, so it's not an event in terms of time. Okay. Retired as a medical rep. Okay. He's a medical rep. Okay. Yeah. Big health trouble. So I had a big health, that will be useful because if there is, if D6 Lagna is on border or something, this is the one we will use. 1986 March, there was a big health problem. Generally suffers from ulcer. Suffers from ulcer, okay. He suffers from ulcer generally. And anything else? Two kids, one daughter and one son, okay. Suffering from, oh, ayo, uh, suffering from cancer. And it was uh, first uh, traced in March 2009. March 2009 traced, okay. And uh, I mean traced means some problem started July 2009, uh, they confirmed that it is cancer. July 2009 confirmed, okay. So in March 2009, some problem started and the first suspected cancer and they confirmed it in July 2009. What kind of cancer? I know, but is it in the lungs or blood or bones or digestive system or digestive system? Okay. Yeah, red coral. Red coral and uh, cat's eye. He wears a red coral, Mars and cat's eye, white hoodium, the, uh, what is it, uh, Ketu one, Mars and Ketu gems, okay. So this is the data about Satsugaru. Let us see the chart. Now, first of all, he has ulcer, right? Ulcer, who gives ulcer, which, what kind of body constitution do you expect? Forget the chart. Before seeing the chart, the moment you hear somebody has ulcer, what kind of, is it kapha, pitta, vata? Pitta. Pitta. Ulcer, what is ulcer? It is basically, the membranes in the digestive system basically they are burnt. It happens if you eat very spicy food, uh, that, that the spice will basically burn the, the membranes in the digestive system. For me? Yeah, stomach layers are eaten by the spice. So people who eat lot of spicy food, they will get it. But even if you don't eat spicy food, basically if you, if you have lot of acid produced in the stomach, then it will happen. 
lot of digestive juices, extra juices, and that is the case with pitta people. So pitta people are very prone to ulcers. So he should have a pitta implant. Now let's see the chart. Lagna is Libra. Lagna has a debilitated son. He is Bhargarad, and he is in the first house, right? So. Lagna is afflicted by Bhadakesha son who is in debility. A debilitated Bhadakala is afflicting Lagna. Lagna is ruined. So, son is the ruiner of Lagna. So, that confirms that he will have Pitta related problems. Okay. Now, how is the chart? He is apparently thin, okay. Hmm. Okay, now let's see uh, marriage. When did he get married? Just to confirm that Dasha is working. 1961, was it? Yeah, 61 October 21, he got married. 61, first of all, is there any conditional Dasha that applies? Satharthika Dasha because Lagna is Vargottama. But do we know that Lagna is in Vargottama? Not really. Because 20 seconds later, time will change. We don't know that there isn't 20 second error in this chart. He said 5 minutes plus minus. So, Satavdika Dasha may or may not apply. We don't know for sure. And Shastihari Dasha will apply. Lagna has son. So, Shastihari Dasha applies, Shasti Samadasha. And Satavdika Dasha may apply. If it applies, it will confirm that the Lagna is accurate. Navam Lagna. Let us see this. First, assume that Satavdika Dasha applies. Right? So, Let's go to Satavdika Dasha. Let's start it from Lagna instead of Moon. Because we are taking the Vargotama Lagna, not Vargotam Moon. So, Satavdika Dasha started from Lagna. Running at the time of marriage was Mercury. Mercury Moon gave marriage. Do you get it? Yeah, and Mercury Mahadasa, Moon Antardasa gave wedding as per Satavdika Dasa started from Lagna. Right? Everybody get it? Now, does Mercury Moon make sense? Can they give marriage? Yeah? He is the Lord of Yule in Rashi Chart, he is the ninth Lord in Rashi Chart, he is the Hmm? Yeah. So Mercury and Moon are giving Dharma Karma Asvati Yoga in the Navamsha. The ninth Lord and tenth Lord together giving Raj Yoga in the twelfth house. So there is a chance and Mercury is the Lord of Yule in Rashi Chart as well as in Navamsha and he is the ninth Lord in both showing Dharma. So it is possible, right? Mercury may have given marriage. Now let us see how Shastihani Dasa shows it. First, let's go back to just Vimshotri, right? Vimshotri should also work. If you take Vimshotri from Moon, what is the Dasha then? Again, Mercury Dasha. Mercury Dasha, Uchantar Dasha? Saturn. Mercury, Saturn, and the Dasha gave marriage. Does it make sense? Mercury, again, like we said, Upada Lord in the Rashi chart, he is the ninth Lord in Rashi and Navamsa, so he can give marriage. Mercury is capable of giving marriage. And Saturn, how about Saturn? He is 7th Lord, you, what do you mean? He is aspecting the 7th house in Rashi chart. In the Navamsa chart, he is in the 7th house from Lagna. Is he or is he not? Yeah, he is actually. Oh my God. And I saw that Lagna is at the end of Libra in Navamsa. I was wondering maybe Saturn is pushed to the 6th house. He is also at the end of Aries. If you look at the division longitude, so he is actually in the seventh house, both from Venus as well as Lagna. So Saturn is in the seventh house from his Yokaraka in the seventh house from both Venus and Lagna. So there is a good chance that this is right. Right? On the other hand, if you move the Lagna, see Navam Sakna backward, we have a lot of window, 30 minute window. He only said 5 minutes error. But forward, if you switch it by 20 seconds, if you add 20 seconds to the birth time, it will go to Scorpio. But with Scorpio Lagna, does Vimshotri Dasha make sense? 
Mephi started in giving marriage, not really. Mephi is the eighth lord in the eleventh house with the ninth lord. No strong case for marriage, right? So, this lagna makes more sense based on Mishotri as well as Shatadrivata. So, shall we accept this? Okay, we'll just accept this. And then, both. Satavdika, if it's applying, we will use that, we will give it uh, higher priority, but yeah. we can check out Shashthani also to see how well it is working. Is it working well? Uh, marriage was given in Jupiter Dasha, if you started from Lagna. Marriage is given by Jupiter Dasha. Jupiter, Jupiter, Antar Dasha gave, gave marriage. Does it make sense to you, honestly? Not really. Jupiter is not really a giver of marriage. So it doesn't seem to be working well. And why? Well, Sun is in Lagna but he is debilitated. He is not really strong in Lagna. He is actually Bhaska Lord in Lagna. So maybe it doesn't apply. And moreover, Satadhuka Dasha is trumping the Sashtahani Dasha. So forget Sashtahani Dasha, let's not try to use it because it doesn't seem to be working well. But Satadhuka seems to be working okay. So let's use that. Now let us go to Chiti Pravesh, just for confirmation. 1961, when, when was the Chiti Pravesh chart? It was on October 21. When did he get married? 61, right? 61, October 21, evening basically Chiti Pravesh chart came. So, uh, let's, let's take it easy. We don't know if the marriage was before or after the New Year started. So, let's take it easy. Let's go to the other events. What, we know something about his career, don't we? He was a medical sales representative, right? Does that make sense? Now the thing is, if the time is 1 minute 5 seconds earlier, Lagna will change in the Samsha. Maybe, uh, all we know is time is not 20 seconds more. You can't add more than 20 seconds to the time. That's what we know from the Navamsha, natal Navamsha and Shadadhikrasha. So, given time is 5.30. So, it's not after 5.30, 20. But it could be 529, 528, 527, 525, we don't know. So, let's see the Samsa. Let's see if this makes sense, okay? Hmm. So, 10th Lord is Sun. He is with Rahu in the third house. Now, with this, him being a salesman, does it make sense to you? What do you think? Can he be a salesman? Could he be a salesman? What do you think? Yeah? Sun, Tenth Lord Sun is with Rahu. That can show medical, but that shows a surgeon, not, a, not somebody who goes around selling things. Why? Why do you think Libra makes more sense? Yeah? Who is a salesman? Who shows salesman? among all the planets. Yeah. Salesman is Vaishya basically. Mercury. Mercury shows it. Moon and Mercury are the Vaishyas of the planetary cabinet. So, moon and, moon and Venus, Moon and Mercury combination can show a salesman. So, uh, it makes more sense if you go back to the Libra Lagna. So, let's switch the time. Instead of 5.30, let's say 5.29.30. No, that, that doesn't do it. So let's say 528. Okay, oops. 528. Now Lagna is in Libra. The Sam Lagna. Now the tenth Lord Moon. Did he, was he successful in that career? Did he have a good career? Oh, you gave the chart. I was looking at him. Huh. He had good. Okay. Yeah, why I ask this, the thing is, in the other case, Templar, Sun with Rahu, not really that great. But here, not only does it show a salesman, Moon and Mercury, but they are the ninth and tenth laws together, reasonably close. They are like 8 degrees apart, I think. 337 Moon in Aquarius, Mercury 1048. So, 7 degrees apart. That is actually close enough. That's not like at the two ends of the sign. So, they are close enough, the two planets, and they are giving a Raj Yoga. Moon and Mercury are giving a Raj Yoga. 
so in the fourth house so in a kendra basically in a kendra from lagna they are giving a rajyoga ninth and tenth class so if you if you have a good career and from what you are saying it sounds like he did so this makes more sense so let's change the time back by 1 minute but still we don't know all what we know is it is not after what is the leave we have 56 seconds later it will change what 56 seconds later okay okay fine so we know that it's not 529 it's like just before 529 it could be 528 it could be 527 it could be 526 it could be 525 because in navams and atal navams we had a 10 minute window before 30 minute window and here what window we have 11 minute window so basically we know that it's 10 minutes back uh, it can't be more than error can't be more than 10 minutes backwards and he said 5 minute plus minus 5 minutes so let's say the time is between 524 and 528 still we don't know accurately but this is good enough to work with the chart we know that dashamsh chart we know that navamsh chart we know that rashi chart we know that lagna is in the first 3 degrees of libra that's good enough unless you want to use really precise techniques where you need to know the no lagna very accurately within maybe half degree or so we are not going to use any precise techniques here that require precise but time so let's just uh, move on to the prediction let's accept this time before we do that one, one more thing relating to health There was a serious health problem in 86 March. Why? Which the side is showing it better? Let's go to Shatavdika. Moon, moon or Mars? Mars, right? Mars, Mars. Since the moon, Mars the side. So Mars, why did he give health problems? Is it possible that Mars should give health problems? What do you think? Mars is the seventh lord, second and seventh lord, Maraka in the Rashi chart. I'm just looking at Rashi chart now. He is a Maraka, Maraka lord, and you are absolutely right. He is in Bharatasthana. So, is it possible that he can give health problems? Is it possible that he will give health problems? Yes. He can also, unfortunately, he can give problems that are difficult to diagnose because he is in Bharatasthana. Things that just generally come. you don't know what's going on there kind of problems complicated problems not simple like oh i got cold or i got fever i got jaundice not things like that things more complex okay what about vimshotri dasha what was the dasha running then 86 that was venus dasha venus dasha saturn and dasha Does it make sense that Venus Desha should give health problems? Do you think it should make sense? Can Venus give health problems? For me? Yeah. Does it make sense that Venus should give some kind of health problems? Hmm. Yeah. Venus is uh, seventh lord and of digestion. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, if that is the case, why did Mars give problem? As per Shatavdhi ke dasha, Mars gave problem, right? Why did Mars give problem? He is Lagna and eighth lord in the sixth house. So, being though he is Lagna lord, he is also eighth lord. And he is in the sixth house. That is not good. Six, eighth lord in sixth house is not really Vedanta Yoga and Shastram Chaitanya. It shows serious problems. So based on that, it makes sense as well as based on Venus, like you said, Venus is Maraka in the Shastram Chaitanya. Especially when Saturn the Chaitanya came. Saturn is the Badha lord. So Maraka lord the Chaitanya, Badha lord Santu the Chaitanya. As per the other the Chaitanya, eighth lord in the sixth house is the Chaitanya. So it is possible that there is. some problem in health in that dasha but now cancer started when did it start it started in 2009 right does it make sense does cancer make sense hmm 
Mishotri, as for Mishotri, unfortunately, Badaka, Marka's Dasha has started. Marka and Badaka, Badaka Stana, right? In 2007. His Dasha has started. And in 2009, when the problem actually came to the fore, it was Jupiter Dasha. And Jupiter is the sixth lord in the Rashi chart. And in the Shashthamsa, he will give Mercury's results. Mercury is the sixth lord. And he is in the twelfth house. So, 6th Lord and 12th Lord are together in 12th. Again, this, don't look at it as Vipri Tadhika. 6th house will give disease, 12th house will give hospitalization, their togetherness will give some disease and hospitalization because of it. As affected by 8th Lord Mars. So, 6th, 8th, 12th, all the sthanas are actually on that axis. So, this is not a, so this period basically giving problems makes sense. Now, how is the outlook? Right now it is Saturn under this eye. Saturn any better? Not really. From Mars, Saturn is the sixth lord in twelfth house. From Mars. From Lagna, Saturn is Badaka uh, lord. How about the next house of Mercury? He is also sixth lord. Now, Mars is the planet in sixth house. Mercury is the planet owning sixth house. So, Mars Mercury will accentuate the results of sixth house even more. Do you understand? And even taking Mars as Lagna in, in Shastamsa. Mercury is in Badhagasthana with Badhaga Lord. Not really pretty. Oh, by the way, that was the other thing about Mars Jupiter also. Earlier when that problem came, Mars Jupiter. Jupiter is Badhaga Lord in Badhagasthana from Mars. So, looking at the Shasthamsa, unfortunately, the next few Antadasas don't really seem that good. What about Ketu? Can he give some relief? No. He is the eighth Lord in Lagna. He is even, even worse. He is terrible. So, we don't expect Ketu to give, uh, actually is he in Lagna? Yeah, he is in first house. D6, Lagna is at 16 degree series, Ketu is at 24 degree series. So, he is in first house. So, Eitlard in Lagna is actually terrible. He is, if you ask me, he is the worst of all of them. I mean, the 6th, 8th, 12th Lord combination on the 6th, 12th axis, that all the Dusthana Lords basically on that axis is bad. But the thing is, Eighth Lord afflicting Lagna directly is never a good thing, right? So, that is even worse if you ask me. Moreover, taking Mars as Vagna, Ketu is in the 8th house. So, things are not looking good. Saturn, Jupiter and the is not good. The one that, that got over when the problem came. Saturn is not good. Mercury is not good. Ketu is not good. How about Venus? He is relatively better. From Mars, he is the ninth lord. From Lagna, even though he is Maraka, at least he doesn't have anything to do with the Badaka, Badaka Sthana, 6th house, 8th house, 12th house, etc. So, if at all some relief is there, it is there in Venus until this house, which is in 2012. So, unfortunately, I don't, I don't see any hope until then. Things seem quite bad. Let's go back to Satabdika. As per Satabdika, that's how, what is going on? Saturn this is running. Saturn is the eleventh lord, Badha lord in the fifth house of digestion in Leo. And the under this running right now is Saturn itself. Saturn, Saturn. Can it give any relief? Unlikely. Uh, he is Badha lord affecting Badha sana. Okay. How about the sun under this? Sun is the Lagna lord in eleventh house. Taking Saturn as Lagna, he is Lagna lord in eleventh house. He can give some some gains, gain of health. Moreover, from Lagna, he is in the third house, he is the fifth lord, he is the Purupunya lord. He does not have anything to do with sixth age, etc. at least, right? So, he can give relief. So, 2012 April, that is what, that is when the better analysis has starts here and here, what was it? Around that same time. 12 April. Yeah, 2012 April based on Vinshwati Dasha, sorry. 2012 February based on Vinshwati Dasha and based on Shadavati Dasha, 2012. April. So, basically sometime in the spring of 2012, some hope is seen. But the thing is, as per Vimshwati Dasha, he is running a Marka Dasha. So, uh, there is a chance of actually things becoming, getting out of hand also, because Marka, Marka's Dasha is running right now, as per Vimshwati. So, bottom line is, next few years are critical, and from next couple of years, and from 2012, February, April time frame, there can be some improvement in the situation. Now, okay, who gives cancer? What kind of things you can expect in the substantia for cancer?
what is uh, cancer actually Why? Why is it associated with the 5D? What exactly is cancer? Is it unwanted growth or out of control growth, right? Who will show growth? Jupiter is the planet of growth. He's the, so, badly placed Jupiter. Jupiter, if he is in, if he is taking part in bad combinations, he can show cancer. But what I have seen in the cancer charts that I have seen is there is an influence of Rahu on Ketu. The nodes in Shastamsha, either on Lagna, 6th house or 8th house, one of the bad houses or Lagna itself is afflicted by Rahu and Ketu and not just it, not, not that they are just in Lagna, they are bad planets, they say, they are afflicting it. Here, Rahu is the Bhadra lot, Ketu is the 8th lot and they are afflicting Lagna. So, Rahu and Ketu are the planets of suffering. So, if they are afflicting Lagna, 6th house, etc., then they can give serious suffering because fever is one, th one kind of suffering, cold is one kind of suffering, but cancer is a serious suffering. So, that kind of serious diseases usually occur if Rahu and Ketu are giving problem. So, here Rahu and Ketu are giving problem, moreover Jupiter is taking part in the 6th, 8th, 12th Lord axis on the 6th, 8th, 6th, 12th axis, on the, I mean 6th house, 6th Lord, 8th Lord and 12th Lord combination on the 6th house, 12th house axis. That is Yes, you can. Yes. Right. Exactly. Any other comments? Now, what should he do? So, wearing the stones is bad. Which stone is he wearing? Why is he wearing Ketu? He is Marka. Why, who told you him to wear cat's eye? Maybe somebody thought he is the second lord in the twelve ninth house, he will give fortune. Second lord is wealth, right? So he will give fortune. Huh? What? Moreover, what is his nakshatra? Some people give by nakshatra also. It is Shani nakshatra. Shani? So, no, that's, that doesn't make sense. Shani means Buddha Ketu, so Vipattara lord. Usually people don't give Vipatara lords. People go by either Tara or houses. If you go by Tara, he is Vipatara lord. If you go by houses, he is Marka lord. Why did somebody prescribe it? I don't understand. Yeah. Okay, actually I want to clarify one thing here. Just because a planet, Dacha of a planet is running, you don't really wear the gemstone of the planet. That is a bad idea. The, uh, wearing a gemstone means you are, you are giving him control over you. And if he is a, if he's a good guy, he will do good to you. If he is a bad guy, he will ruin you. Like I, like the analogy I gave earlier, I gave a few times earlier. Wearing a gemstone is like getting somebody in your house and making him stay in your house and take care of the house. If he wants to take care of the house, he will. But if he hates you and he wants to ruin your house, you are making it easier for him by putting him in your house. So, wearing, a gem, wearing the gemstone of a planet who is indisposed towards you is a bad idea. Even if his dasha is running, as a matter of fact, if his dasha is running, he anyway has power over you, control, more control over you. By putting him on your body, you are increasing that control. It's a terrible idea. So, if the dasha of a bad planet is running, propitiate. Don't wear the gemstone. Yes. Recently what? Oh. I think... Uh, Mars is in Barasasthana, he is Marka, Ketu is Marka Lord, uh, remove those two stones, they don't help him at all, there is no point in wearing those stones. Anything else he can wear? What can he wear? Anything that is safe? Hmm? A diamond can be worn. But the thing is, is there a need to wear any stone? Not really. If he wants to wear, let him wear diamond. Not really. Uh, ruby, ruby should be avoided at any cost. Red coral and cat's eye should be avoided at any cost. 
other things are dicey. Emerald, for example, in the Ashtanga Mercury is fine, but in the Ashtanga is giving problems. And moreover, he is the twelfth lord of hospitalization in the twelfth house. So let's let's not wear emerald also. Diamond is one thing that he can safely wear. Diamond can be worn. I don't really recommend any other stone. He should propitiate Mars. Because Mars is running, right? As per Intro Tibeta. Mars is running and yeah, Mars is running based on Intro 3. So he should propitiate Mars. Moreover, Mars is the Lagna Lord in Shastamsa. So he can propitiate Mars. How can he propitiate Mars? Hanuman, huh? Again, for Saturn also you can propitiate Hanuman. So I suggest propitiate Hanuman, Lord Hanuman, uh, chant Hanuman Jalisa, or any Hanuman Stotra, any Hanuman Mantra, propitiate Hanuman, that will be my advice. Hanuman can save him. Any other comments? Any other comments? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They can be depending on the I answer. They can be different calculations. Yes. Because we are getting mass K two, right? Two years of difference. That is possible. Some people use I answer that vastly differ, differ from Lahiri. Even though most people today use Lahiri I answer, some people still use I answer that are four degrees away or three degrees away compared to Lahiri I answer. So, based on different Vakya Siddhanta. Of the Siddhanta, so of the observations, people use formulas given by old people, ancients. So there are there are deviations. Actually, uh, apart from it, they use formulas to compute planets. That is one thing. The second thing is they use Ayanamsa, that is four degrees away from Lahiri. Very not, neither Raman nor Lahiri, totally different Ayanamsa. So maybe somebody was using a different Ayanamsa. That's perfectly possible. Any other comments, questions? Any other suggestions? I think I, I, I will basically my outlook is negative. I think time is not really that good for him. He should he should do Hanuman Chalisa or something relating to Hanuman. Anything else? Any other comments? Okay. So let's take up the second chart also because we have a little time. Let me restart the recording.